What's up you guys, it's JF Boosted here. Um, so today I'm gonna install my electric water pump, but I forgot to record that I uninstalled them. Um, as you can see right here, I um, removed this hose right here, you know, going down to that white pipe. And then I removed the upper pulley and then I removed the alternator that you no longer see there. Um, my bad, you know, it's just, I burnt my whole alternator and I had to, I wanted to remove it as quick as possible to finish it earlier. But, you know, I had to wait for car parts. So that's when my electric water pump came in hand and I just sent my alternator. So they're fixing that right now. They're fixing that issue. Hopefully they can fix it. I, I might be a refurbished one. I mean, they might just swap the internals out. Hopefully it doesn't happen with the same issue again. But I'm going to electric water pump, so I shouldn't have any problem with my with my belt snapping and overheating my whole block like that one video you guys saw. If not, then, you know, one of those videos back there, if you guys are new watching my videos, I almost blew my block because I overheated and I would have had warped heads and all that. But I have APR head studs and everything, so I shouldn't be worrying about that problem. Anyways, going back to right now, um, before I could finally remove the mechanical water pump. So today, I think I'm just going to drain out the whole radiator, coolant, and um, remove the water pump if I have time. It's currently 7 o'clock, so I do not want to really stay up too late. I have, you know, LED lights, so I should be good. I have friends coming over, by the way. Alright, so first thing I'm going to do here, I'm going to go ahead and go underneath. <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot to record. Thanks for recording, dude. Hey guys, AGNA here. And, um, you know, we're celebrating with some pizza. He's fucking his car up like usual. He still doesn't want to eat pizza, though. He's, He's that done. healthy life. So, you guys, um, now I drained out the whole radiator coolant. And now I'm up to the point where I have to, uh, Take out the lower radiator hose from the coolant. water pump. Coolant looks green with a bit of brown in it, but I don't think it's oil. Cause they don't they don't mix, as Anthony said. So that brown sliver right there is actually the shadow casted by the bucket That's from the these lights look, over here. Here's an example. But like, yeah, see. Yeah, it's like it's still normal, dirty. Normal. So you guys, um. I removed the lower hose and the upper hose and these little hoses that I just noticed that my electric water pump not have so I might have to block them off I don't know hopefully I can find some way but um, I'm removing the bolts for the water pump and once I remove it then I'm gonna start installing that and probably not today I'll just probably remove it and then um, get on you know color day and then next day I'll just install the whole thing but yeah, you guys, I'm almost there to take off the mechanical water pump and I'm um... You guys, so I finally removed the whole bolt. This thing's about to come down. It's almost ready. I just gotta remove this last bolt. It's been a pain in the ass. There you go. Here you go. Alright now, this thing's about to go out. Alright. Okay, now I gotta remove this shit. Less of a hassle. Put a sticker that says made in USA. Where? Right there. Where? Right there. Right there by the No, that, yeah. when you buy it from Edelbrock, they give it to you like that. It's actually engraved on there. The more you know. Why? Right, now I got crap from down here. So you guys, if you guys ever going to drop your water pump, please get a type of um, bucket because you don't want to deal with this fucking mess. It's all slimy too, dude. Fuck. Johnson's got fucking... Yeah, dude, that came out of my engine. Look at that. I'm just kidding. That came from that one. Got that out of there. Shit. I could drop it down through here when you remove these hose first they seem to bother there like that uh, yeah you're good didn't mess up any wires no 
No? No, I think you should be good. Alright. Alright, you guys. Let me check my alternator. I mean, my starter wire. Let me just tell you guys. So, I dropped the water pump as you, as you can see. He recorded me do it. Time to install this new one that I just bought. Wait, but, oh, I forgot to press record. No, nah, it's red right here. Uh. <laughs> need my light, though, baby. This is ShamWow activity, bro. Hey, guys, get yourself a ShamWow. Here at, um, what's your phone number? 1-800-SHAMPOW. You mean ShamWow? No, ShamPow. Can't get copyrighted, dude. I don't think they would care because I'm actually advertising for them. So get yourself one of these shampoos. Five ninety nine plus tax, a hundred bucks plus shipping. Get ripped You're off. Fucking ripped off. All right. Um. It's like your head. Here you go. So you guys, I'm finally gonna install this. But as you can see right here, there seems to be a like a like someone nicked it by accident or something. So I'm going to sand it down just to um, be safe and not have a gap in between and start having a leak. So I'm going to sand it down because it's not pretty flush. So, so funny. People, man. Anyway, so yeah, you guys, um, I'm going to install it. Then I'm going to install the water pump. I guess I'm going to do it all today. All right, you guys. So I had a very fucking, all right. I had a big struggle installing this water pump. For some reason, it was an issue. Um, should have showed you my issues, but usually the bottom bolts, they couldn't mount because the bolts from going across, they're in the way. So you have to remove the bottom bolt that went across from the water pump. Then you could go inside with the bolts, you know, this way. And then the problem was that I have this bar here. So I had, that was basically my problem. My issue was twisting it, trying to put it in. And I'm not really a fan of this style of bolts, like they could have went like half size, none, and just could have cranked it easily, but they went this style, so it was a struggle. Installation wise, um, I'll give it like a, out of a five, I'll give it like a two and a half stars. Not really the best, you know, f for my experience. But anyways, it's on there, hopefully it does not leak and it actually cools, you know, the engine, cause if not, then there's gonna be a problem there. I'm gonna be pretty frustrated and to take it out is gonna be a bitch. So anyway, so now that I bolted everything, I went with this and then I got leverage, you know, to um, twist it all the way, you know, put it all together. That way it doesn't leak. So hopefully that's not an issue, but the lower hose down there, I'm gonna have to replace it and get a smaller one. Cause it looks like this, um, this outlet right here, it sticks out more and it's more in front. So I have to get a shorter hose. This top one chilling. This one I have to block off. Hopefully that's not an issue. I might have to block off this as well. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff that I need to block off, but hopefully that's not an issue with cooling. So yeah, you guys, Um, tomorrow I'll just post up what I did next. And thanks for watching so far. If you guys liked the video, give a thumbs up and like and subscribe. Comment on what other questions you have before installing this because I know there's some issues I went I was going through. But thanks you guys. Have a great day and good night. Start now. Oh and thanks to my boy um Anthony for recording half the time, so it's chilling. The guy in the